Hi all, today in this video, I am going to show you how to export Power BI reports into PDF using the slicer. So I am going to just run the Power Automate now to show you what um, Power Automate is going to do. So I will just click on run. So now Power BI Power Desktop, we we'll click on the first data in the uh, slicer, then it will save the report as PDF, and then it will name it the uh, filter name. Then it will go to the second item in the slicer, then save again. And then name it as the uh, future. Then it will go to the next item. And then uh, save it as uh, PDF again. All right. So all in all, you have, will have uh, three PDF exports. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Before you do this, you need to prepare and uh, Excel listing. This as Excel listing needs to um, have the list of items that you want to filter. So you will have a header, and then you have the items that you want to um, filter in the slicer. You can ignore column B. You just need column A. So the first step is. To open the for, uh, launch Excel, open the following document and open up that file. Make instant receiver disable, open as read only, enable. The rest you can leave it as default and variables produce is Excel instance. Then you use read from Excel worksheet, Excel instance, all available values from worksheet. First line of range contains column names enabled. Variables produced is Excel data. Then you get window. All right. So it's a specific window. And then UI element is you need to add UI element here. All right. Then press Control left and press sorry. Press Control plus left mouse click. So uh, you can filter, uh, you can click on here. Once you have a window, uh, red border across the screen, uh, you can Control left click. Right. Then, uh, at once, you can leave it as default. Variables produce is automation window. Then click on save. I'm going to click cancel because I already have that uh, window. Then set window state by window instance handle automation window maximize. Then you use for each current item in Excel data. Valuable value to iterate is Excel data store into current item. Then you send a mouse click, mouse event to send, left click, wait zero, move mouse. And then let me just answer this a bit. I want to open up um, the Power BI. Okay. So I'm going to 
ask uh, Power Automate Desktop to click on here, right? Can you see my mouse on the right hand side? To filter, uh, to, to drop down the slicer. So, in order to do this, just, just hover around the um, drop down. And then you can see the cursor here, right? X and Y, the, the coordinate. So what you do is, okay, put your mouse there and then click on, press control, shift, and then it will record down the, the, uh, the drop down uh, coordinate. And move, mouse movement style is instant, right? Next, it's you want to ask Power Automate Desktop to click on the name one by one, right? So you use move mouse to text on screen. Right? Then uh, use Tesseract Engine to find its current item right and then uh, the header the header name for the column right so my for for mine is current item then uh, client then then occurrence is one search for text on entire screen search mode Specify sub region only, and then um, you need to know your coordinates for um, the drop down. Right? So I just want our automate desktop to select the names in this region, right? Because there's, uh, there's name here as well. So I want Power Automate Desktop to just select at this region. So you need to give Power Automate as Desktop the coordinate from the top left corner and then bottom right corner. So this is the region to find the names. Um, so in order to do this, you can use this uh, sense, sense mouse click. Sorry. Let me minimize this. Send mouse click, right? You can actually look uh, read the coordinate here. So top left, right, it's one three seven eight two seven three. Bottom right is one seven four one eight six five around here. So depends on where you put a slicer, right? Just make sure there's a uh the range is uh what what you what you see from your screen. Right. This is just a sample because my slicer is over here. Right. Once you note the coordinate down, you can fill them in here. Right. X. This is X one Y one will be the top uh, left. X two Y two will be the bottom right coordinate. Then with any mean. With animation low speed, you can use instant, but because I want to show you how the mouse move, I use with automation low speed. So OCR engine setting, uh, disable use other language. That's right, language is English. Image with multiplier is two. Image height multiplier is two. Um, you can play with this a bit if it doesn't work for you, but um, when I use one one, it doesn't work. So I use two two. Um, wait for text to appear. Enable. Appear if text doesn't appear within five seconds. Send a click after moving mouse. Enable. Then left click, and wait before clicking one. The rest you can leave it as default. Um, then you click on uh, UI element. So for this instance, you just add UI element, right? Then you go to file here, 
right? Then you control and left mouse click. Right. So I have already done it, so I just uh, cancel it. Then you want to use move mouse to text on the screen. So Windows Osira engine, text to find is print this page. Right, because you want to click on print this page. Right. Then uh is regular expression disabled, occurrence one, search text on entire screen, hold of specified source instance. Then in the OCR uh, engine setting is default, everything is default. Go to at once here. Um wait for text to appear enabled because sometimes uh, there's a lag where after you click the file so you it's better for you to wait for text to appear then um here if text doesn't appear within five send a click after moving mouse enabled then you want to ask um uh power automate to click on a combo box so you go back here you will click on print this page All right i'm going to ask uh, uh power automate to click on here right to save as pdf and then click on here to select landscape so i'm going to do use a few steps to do this so click on ui element combo box so i'm going to add ui element right then i'm going to control and left click here can you see the combo box yep control and left click right then then i'm going to ask uh, power automate to move mouse to text on screen windows also the engine then save as be there all right uh, disabled regular expression occurrence one entire screen for a specific source instance uh, i think go to at once uh, disable wait for text to appear uh, send a click after moving mouse all right then i'm going to go to the next uh, combo box layout so click ui element so now i'm going to um, add, click on this landscape all right so i'm going to go here right at you like element go back here right when you see the combo box then you just control left click all right then click that with uh, left click all right then you save then move then you can actually copy step 14 copy step 14 and paste as step 16 Then you're just going to change text to find to landscape. All right? So that yeah, your printout will be landscape. Then uh then I'm gonna ask Power Ultimate to click on uh, the button save. So if I go back to here, okay. So I'm going to have click add UI element. Go back here. So you can see the button here then you control left click all right then you wait for three seconds all right um for the green window to appear all right then you're going to put in the file path all right your folder location 
and then the name of the file sales by customer underscore then you can put the n percent current item uh, square bracket grocery client which is the uh, the, the the current items um, client name and then percentage dot pdf right delay between keystrokes is 10 right then you send keys so this is uh, alternate s to save essentially it's just click on here so it's the keyboard button key, keyboard shortcut to save right so even when i save it existing file i'm going to replace it i'm going to click on yes so you go back here so i'm going to wait three seconds right for the override uh, window to appear and then a foreground window and a alternate y and uh send text as hardware keys enabled then you use wait three seconds then you end the loop then uh, i always like to put a display message when uh, the flow is successful so display message message box title is successful export to pdf successful message box, box icon is none then I think the rest I leave it as default and then I click on uh, keep message box always on top enabled so I hope this video has helped you if it helps you please give the video a like and please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys I see you in the next video bye bye